Okay, up next, the second device we're going to use to keep our lymphatic system up and running, and our entire system actually, would be a passive system known as grounding technology. The importance of grounding yourself regularly has been known for a long time, but it has recently been resurrected into mainstream sight by a small group of independent researchers and health advocates. Now, we talked earlier about how important it is to be grounded and how we are electrical beings whose body systems thrive when supplied with ample amounts of free electrons which just so happen to swarm the surface of the earth. We talked about the old Qigong and Tai Chi masters who would use large trees to either meditate next to or use as sources of power to recharge their batteries so to speak. In the classic 1954 movie The Seven Samurai Japanese director Akira Kurosawa makes an interesting choice by filming scenes where one of the main characters, an older, experienced samurai, back in the year 1587, chooses to sit on the ground with his back up against a tree trunk. Once after coming back from a night-long reconnaissance mission into an enemy camp, and once while waiting to ambush a small group of bandits that are threatening a village of peaceful farmers. And I found this interesting, as director Akira Kurosawa was known for his meticulously crafted scenes and how he shot them. There is no waste. Every frame of his films tells a story, and it works on multiple levels. For Akira Kurosawa to deliberately film two key scenes where one of the heroes uses uh, his connection with a tree to either calm himself before a very stressful life or death confrontation or chooses to sit up against a tree instead of just laying down on the ground after an exhausting nighttime infiltration into an enemy camp it shows that the Japanese culture over 50 years ago um, that this scene was filmed because doubtless many people in the audience would perhaps intuitively or through personal practice understand what the character was doing and why when you are in contact with a tree you're immediately grounded, instantly, at the speed of light, because the tree is a living object which is filled with water from top to bottom and also electrolytes through its entire uh, system. It is a direct connector, excuse me, conductor of electricity. Now, the last movie that Akira Kurosawa made before he passed away is called Dreams. He deliberately goes out of his way in this movie to show the relationship between man and nature and the consequences of ignoring nature's laws. The entire movie is comprised of dreams that Akira Kurosawa had throughout his life from a young child onward to adulthood. And the film is very heavy on symbolic, perhaps even magical imagery, and proportionally light on dialogue. This is a movie constructed by a master filmmaker, and he is attempting to access your subconscious and teach you something that he feels we are ignoring in, quote, modern life. In the second section of the movie Dreams, there is a scene where a little boy feels great loss because his family's orchard of peach trees has been chopped down. And in his grief, the spirits of the trees come to life, reveal themselves to him, and ask him why were we allowed to be chopped down and killed. Obviously, Akira Kurosawa had a deep understanding of the connection between man and nature, and used his considerable skills as a master of cinema to try and reach out to his fellow human beings. This is why I do not think it was an accident that he showed a character using his connection with a tree to gain inner strength. Now you can sit and read for hours about the benefits of grounding and it's all very convincing, dry, and scientific but I consider grounding to be extremely important for three basic reasons. One, it resets our built-in cycles to the frequency and cycles of the earth. Two, grounding enables us to remineralize our bodies much faster, resulting in stronger bones, stronger organs, more disease resistance. And three, it will bring a calmness and peace of mind due to deeper, more peaceful sleep. It literally centers us and helps to cut down on the mental chaos, confusion, and chatter going on in a mind that has lost its center. Now, let me tell you something. If you are facing a situation 
where everyone around you is freaking out because of some sort of catastrophe, whether man-made or natural, like we're going to be seeing later on this year. Unless your head is screwed on nice and secure, it is going to pop right off into the stratosphere unless you start taking steps to get grounded and centered now. I'm sure that you have encountered people who instill a sense of calmness to your life just by standing near them. If you're in a relationship with them, you will find yourself uncharacteristically completely letting down your guard around them because you subconsciously or intuitively know that you're safe around them. People immediately like them and want to be around them. The comment is often made, wow, they are such a centered person, or they're just so grounded. This denotes that the person is relatively in charge of their life, and they have their act together, and it inspires us to kind of want to uh, pick up the same habits that they do. Literally grounding ourselves and supplying abundant amounts of plant-based minerals is a one-two punch that will allow us to utilize these sun-based vitamins or plant-based vitamins much more efficiently and will allow the enzymes that we naturally produce or consume in vegetation and fruits to work inside of us at unprecedented levels. You cannot efficiently use vitamins without minerals and you cannot get the maximum of either enzymes or vitamins without minerals you got to have all three. Imagine trying to build a brick wall without cement, or trying to build a brick wall with plenty of bricks, lots of cement, but no workers to actually construct the wall. You can't do it. Vitamins, minerals, enzymes are the bricks, cement, and workers in your body. Supply your body with enough of them, and it will do the rest for you. In the future, our definition of what is, quote, healthy will automatically have the prerequisite of asking is this person grounded ideally 12 to 18 hours a day but eight hours a day minimum and this of course would be when we're sleeping it's an ideal time to ground ourselves most of us spend a third of our lives or more sleeping so this is an ideal time to be grounded it's extremely important now obviously nothing trumps nature. The best way for you to get grounded is simply to go outside, take off your shoes, and feel the grass, sand, dirt, whatever, between your toes and under your feet. Using a product like grounding sheets or grounding pads is basically grounding by proxy. It will work. It's just attempting to bring the earth to you instead of you going to the earth. And we have to do things like this because we live in little boxes most of our lives. But the combination of direct sunlight and simultaneous direct grounding will provide numerous health benefits. By regularly grounding ourselves, we can expect the following. Reduced calcification of joints and tissues, reduced inflammation, more flexibility, better sleep, more energy, and much, much more. Remember, absolutely None of the above can possibly have any effect long term unless the lymphatic system is also getting benefit from being grounded because the lymphatic system is going to be responsible for removing the garbage uh, from between the cells that you're going to be uh, sloughing off from being grounded. It's going to get rid of the excess fermented fluids, filtering it all, and destroying pathogens which find their way into the lymphatic system and it's going to do all this and more all at the same time. A person could not possibly have an elevated level of health by being grounded unless the grounding greatly improved the function of the lymphatic system as well. If you are low on funds and can only make minimal changes to your lifestyle then the top three would be improve your diet exercise regularly and get grounded. Up next part three of our devices which are going to uh, help the lymphatic system work more efficiently but the grounding pads, the grounding sheets are the most important.